everyone, Coach Sullivan here again with MGS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you. Non-subscribers, I really hope you do. Just completed my 38th year coaching. I was a defensive coordinator, but over that time I've been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, longtime head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, I want to talk to you about one of our three, four, what we call sniper games that we call Apple. Okay, and that A is going to be a key in terms of the naming. Okay. And we why we utilize it versus when we expect either zone or power read as well as RPO. Okay. So, I mean, the last 10 years or so, offenses have really taken off with this. They've attempted to, and in many cases, succeeded in keeping defenses on their heels, putting us in conflict, right? Well, the sniper game, as you're going to learn, in this case, Apple turns the tables and takes it to the offense. We're going to determine the reads for the offense. We're going to put the quarterback in conflict, and that's the whole point of the sniper game, Apple. Okay, so the A is key in the naming. The A, okay, they're going to move away from the back, as you'll see. Okay, and so the apple takes aim at the quarterback's read. That's the sniper, right? Take aim. We're taking it at the read, not the quarterback. That's important, okay? So <clears throat> when we get to the diagram, I'll show you how all that plays out. So Apple involves the D-line, inside and outside linebackers, as you will see. In B, the quarterback has a give read versus zone read, but in C, he has a keep read versus the power read. So I'll show you all that, okay? And so the purpose of Apple is we're going to determine the read for the quarterback. Now, they can misread and all that stuff, right? But nonetheless, we're determining it for the quarterback, not the other way around. We're going to mix up who the quarterback defenders are, as you will see. Okay, we're going to have multiple quarterback defenders, again, as you will see. Okay, and we're going to be able to sell out on the dive in the inside part of the read, meaning the power read. So that's the quarterback, again, as you will see. This also gives you, I'm not going to get into this. But non-subscribers push the button. We have coverage versatility, play our base match quarters. We can play our RPO coverages, all of which you have access to non-subscribers if you just push that button. Okay? And then this is best versus offset halfback, as I have, but you can run it versus pistol, but that's another presentation. So what I have here is uh, 11 formation, 11 gun Dallas away which means away from the tight end and our huddle formation column, we tag away. So that tells our players, they look at the column before, and it's 11. If the bat, if it's tagged away, that means the halfback is offset away from the tight end. Okay, that's just that's how we do it. So the power read key is the triangle. The zone read key is the box, and in this particular case, it could potentially be two reads so part of this here as well in the field they're going to call east and i'm going to say away east means half backs offset right so since this is a apple the linebackers are responsible for making this call east equals lucky so they're going to say lucky it's all the d line needs to hear as well as the outside linebacker on the side of the back okay that tells them they're all working left boom done okay so what I have here also underneath, I have the responsibilities versus uh, zone read and power read, okay? Not that they're doing two different things, mind you. So the Z and the P, Z, they have what they have when it's zone read, P, what they have when it's power read, okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you what the defensive line, as well as the outside linebacker on the side of the halfback, does when we call Apple. Okay? So I'm going to start with the power read key, D end away from the back on the snap of the football. He is slanting, C, regular slant, and he's penetrating. Okay? So in the zone read, he's got dive. On the power read, he's got the outside portion of it, as you'll see. The nose. 
And we ask the nose to do this quite a bit. The nose sticks B gap. This is a two gap move, which is one word. I know some programs call it a lawn stick. We don't. Stick. That's the only meaning we have for stick. He sticks and then sits in the B gap. Okay? Because on the power read, he's a quarterback, right? Give quarterback reads, mix up quarterback defenders. Okay, he's also a dive. He's B-gap dive for the zone read, but he's quarterback. Ah, and now the defensive end on the side of the halfback is slanting. So regular penetrate slant B-gap. Okay, so he's dive, so he's going to bend. He's got dive on the zone. He's got quarterback on the power read. So see, different quarterback defenders. Mix them up. Now you've got the nose and a defensive end, a quarterback defenders. Woo! And so what's meant for the outside linebacker, shimmy orbit, he's quarterback on the zone and the power on the snap of the football. He's going to shimmy to the edge, staying square, showing himself, which tells the quarterback if he was thinking about on zone read, if he was thinking about keeping it, he's going to think twice. That's why... This could be the read, and if it's a young quarterback or inexperienced, he might keep it. He's going to get a face full of the outside linebacker, but if he's a seasoned kid, he's going to, right? He's going to give it. He's not going to keep it. That's the give read, okay? So what the inside linebacker is doing on the side, these are automatic. What's meant by static, he's in a staggered stance. That outside back foot's hot. He's reading the mesh. If the quarterback does bases read off of this and he keeps it, he's going to be another quarterback defender. He's going to be outside. But if the quarterback does what we think he's going to do and he gives it, now that's the one is the A gap, right? He's going to fit here, possibly to here. Okay, if it's a hard zone, he's going to be opposite A. If it's not as hard a zone, he's going to be same side A. So we'll assume it's a full hard zone. Because let's remember, this slanting B-gap defensive ends a bender on the dive. So he'll take care of that A. All right? So that's how I coach up. Even a kid who may not be all that experienced, if he's a savvy kid, get in the opposite A, son. Our bender should take care of the A for you. Okay, and then here, <clears throat> because of this action, the safety is going to be prepared for the RPO, the P, the pass in both zone read as well as power read, as is the corner. So we're solid. Okay, so then over here, right, he's a 51 on the dive. He's going to fit for the zone and we'll take care of the power read next. But because we got full motion coming this way, the outside linebacker favors. Even if it's a down block, he's not going to ass and ankle it as much. Okay, because in the down, he's kind of anticipating the power read. And not to mention Sky, he's screaming down. He's got outside everything. He's anticipating that dive to bounce. Okay, so now let me talk to you about the power read. All right, so there's the outside, and there's the quarterback inside. All right, so now on the um, power read, this should be a keep read because that defensive end is <laughs> penetrating, working away, right? Well, what the quarterback's not going to see is the nose sticking, so I'll just do it in red. You should have a down, down. He's going to stick and sit, play the quarterback, right? He sees that double down scheme. He's going to be into the C gap. You get that pull. He's going to take off now with that pull. He's inside out on the quarterback. So see now here, right? Change up your quarterback defender. Slant, 
Get in that hip pocket. That center is going to try and block back. We want you to stay in the backfield side. And so he, right, there's one quarterback defender. Here's two quarterback defenders. Here's three quarterback defenders, right? A to A. Opposite A potentially, right? We've got it locked down. A, B, right? C. There's nowhere for the quarterback to go with the football. Power read. He's going to fold in. Again, quarterback, right? So when the quarterback's the kind of the weak link in the power read, this is why we would run Apple. He is screaming there. Boom, right? One, two, three for the outside on the, on the uh, power read. But when we're going to de define that read for the quarterback, he should keep it. We got a whole host of different players there waiting to play the quarterback. Okay, so you got to work the daylights out of the scheme so your kids can see where they fit in. It doesn't have to be full speed, rock them, sock them, and they'll never learn it. Walk through it. Okay, do it in preseason in anticipation of your need for this in game five or whatever game it might be. This is a great changeup. You really messed with who the quarterback defenders were. Frick knows is a quarterback defender. Okay, backside defensive ends a quarterback defender in the power read because he's slanting and bending. Right, he hasn't done that before. He's been the guy, right, dipping, ripping, and sitting. So that's what the, these sniper games allow us to do, and this is what Apple does in particular. So as I said at the beginning, my subscribers, I thank you, non-subscribers. I hope I've teased you into it. Everybody, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com because we can use this YouTube platform, who I thank for this platform. So let's help each other out, coaches.